So welcome back guys to another episode of Cooking with Kelly and I'm super excited. It is Super Bowl weekend and what better weekend to have Big Mike here whipping up some amazing cocktails for Super Bowl. I mean, Super Bowl is in Miami, so we're trying to do something fun and festive and I don't know y'all, he has all these gadgets and things going on, so tune back in and see what we have pop in. All right, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on social media, Cooking with Kelly, Nana's Chicken and Waffles, tag a friend, repost, you know, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys soon. And I'm super excited. I have the amazing, talented, crazy, Magic Mike Mixers here with me today. And yes, I called you crazy. Yes, because I don't know what all these gadgets are that you have. You told me we were making cocktails. So I'm super excited to have you back. It's Super Bowl weekend. I mean, Super Bowl is in Miami. It's so amazing, it's so sexy, it's so fun, it's so beach inspired. So what are we doing? What is, what is all of this stuff? Is this a sandblaster? <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? This is gonna be a smoke and fury drink. It's gonna be very special for Super Bowl. Really? And what Super Bowl would I Hennessy? Oh, okay, <laughs> Hennessy, yes, thank you. Shall we get started? Yes, let's get started, Our tell first me. first ingredient will be Hennessy. It's gonna be two ounces. <laughs> okay, two ounces. Look, so I learned that the big part is the two ounces, right? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna Put Some jiggers are different, but this jigger is two ounces on that side. Okay, all right. And this is filled up with ice, guys. So a little FYI for my non-bartenders like me. <laughs> quarter ounce of your simple syrup. Okay, quarter ounce. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I just think that's about right. Looks good to me. Looks good, okay. Half an ounce of your lime juice. Lime juice, and can you use like fresh lime juice or this is good? Usually fresh is good, but we're gonna roll with that today. We're gonna roll with this, that's fine, that works for me. What did you say, how much? Half, half, mm -hmm. okay. Thank God for this little thing. It shows me every, you know, the ounces and the half ounces, just so you don't make a mistake. There you go. And the main ingredient is gonna be your Jägermeister. I've never heard of Jägermeister and Hennessy together. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a try. What's the worst can happen? I mean, I mean, it could taste good. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, how much of this do I need to get? Half an ounce. Half an ounce. I feel like people used to drink this in high school. High school, college. Yeah, Jägermeister. Everybody used to, you know. I don't know. I'm not a Jägermeister fan, but. Ooh. Who knows? Most people are not. Okay. All right, we're gonna put the top on the tin. We're gonna shake it up. All right. See if I'm okay with my shaking skills. You're an expert now. I'm an expert. Hello. Welcome to the Cocktails with Kelly. All right, let's just stick to cooking. All right, I'm gonna stick with cooking. All right, now we're gonna pull the contents in. All right. Contents, nice and cold. Mm -hmm. All right. Beautiful. Now here's Beautiful. the fun part. We're gonna infuse this guy with smoke, so we're gonna add some wood chips. Oh God, this is a scary part, Mike. What is this thing? It's a smoker. It's a smoker. You're gonna love this. Okay. Ish. Ready? You're gonna take that top, put it on. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, oh Jesus. Here we go. Right. Three, two, here we go. Cut it on. There we go. There you go. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Okay. There you go. Smoke it. Smoke it in here. It is smoking in here. We getting it smoking. And now we're gonna Look cut it to the guy here with. Okay. An orange wedge. You got more lighters, Mike? We got more lighters. Oh my gosh. Woo! Was that zest? That's zest. Yes. That's a real zest. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Look at that! That's amazing, Mike. I don't know how you think of these things. You're so good at what you do. Well, thank you. I think you should stop protecting people. And, and get them drunk? And just open up a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you should do. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Here it is. Here it is. It's actually really good. Well, thank you. You know, I don't even like like dark liquor. I'm just, you know, I'm a wine girl. But I can do this. You can do that? Yeah, yeah, this is good. Who would have ever thought Jägermeister would taste good? Touchdown. <laughs> this is an official touchdown, okay? Let it let it be known. Let touchdown. It be known. Touchdown, touchdown it is. I don't know who's winning, but may the best man win. 
All right, guys, so we are back, and now we're gonna work on our chili. I mean, that is the main ingredient of our mini chili cornbread sliders, right? All right, so I'm using a ground turkey, extra lean. Um, of course, you can do this with any type of beef product as well. I just prefer if you have some, some guests who don't eat pork and you know who might have some special restraints, I think that the uh, ground turkey is always better, especially for parties. All right, so to first get started, we're gonna go ahead and just pour in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, all right? And we have our temperature on a medium, low heat. We're gonna go ahead and add in our diced onions. We're gonna add in our bell pepper. We're gonna go ahead and get that marinated and saute down. So next we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken stock. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our ground turkey. We're gonna go ahead and season our ground turkey. I like to season mine with, of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, turkey is one of those things where you have to put a little extra seasoning because it, it's hard to season the turkey for some reason. It's just one of those things where it doesn't season as well as ground beef does. I have some garlic powder and onion powder as well. Smelling good already, guys. And of course, we're gonna add in a little chili powder. Chili powder and cumin. Go ahead and let that brown. So I remember growing up, chili was probably one of my favorite things to eat. Um, I love to have chili cornbread and hot dogs. I know it's like one of the weirdest things you've probably <laughs> heard of, but I love it. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes. It's a great comfort food. It's good, especially for the fall and winter. Um, it's a one pot dish, you know, and especially being a mom of five beautiful girls at home, I love simple, easy dishes that don't take too long. You can put this in the slow cooker while you're at work. I mean, it's an easy dish. Pair it with anything, right? So now that our ground turkey is cooking down and browning, we're gonna go ahead and add in some black beans. Cause I mean, seriously, what is chili without black beans, right? All right. Make sure you drain those as well. We're gonna add in some kidney beans. Make sure you drain those as well, guys. All right. We're gonna add in our red tomatoes and chilies. So we're gonna mix this up, cook it down a little bit. Oh my God, our chili is smelling amazing. My last little hint and tip that I like to do is I like to add tomato paste and that really thickens up the chili and gives it that good flavor that you need. So I'm gonna stick that in here. Of course, you always wanna do a pan. So, we always wanna do a pot that you can put the lid on top and put that on low and let it simmer. Our chili be ready in a few minutes, guys. I am still cooking up some amazing dishes for my Super Bowl feast. And everybody knows me for my fried chicken. And I feel like, okay, I've done fried chicken before. I'm always doing fried chicken on videos. But I wanted to give you guys a little twist that you can do for your fried chicken for a Super Bowl Sunday. So, I don't know if you guys know, but Catalina dressing is like one of my favorite things to put on my salad. I'm not a ranch girl, I'm not a French girl, but I love me some sweet Catalina. So one of the things that I like to do is, I like to cook that down, and I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that you can do to pop off any type of chicken wings. So you can do bake, you can do air fry, you can do fried. It's a great sauce that you can toss them in. So I have some sweet honey Catalina dressing right here. I'm gonna put that in a pan. Okay. And that's by Kraft, I believe, right? 
Now I'm gonna add in a little sriracha. Yes, give it a little spice. All right. And I found this amazing orange blossom honey. Yes, orange blossom honey. Found at one of your local stores. I'm quite sure you can check any of your local grocery stores and they'll have a variety of different honeys. So to add a little bit of that as well. And just like that, that's it. We're gonna cook that down, let it simmer, reduce. We are gonna put this on our fried chicken wings. Yes, smells amazing. Promise you, this is gonna be a hit. Make sure you guys comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your guests think of your wings. I mean, yes, we are putting Catalina dressing on fried chicken. It's gonna be amazing. It smells great already. You're gonna put that on a medium low simmer, okay? All right, we'll be back to toss our wings up. All right, so we have our fried chicken. Go ahead and get some tongs, and we're gonna go ahead and place that in there. Yes, it smells so amazing. These are gonna be a hit. And all we're gonna do is just roll it around, toss them, flip them. You know how it goes. And always good to put them in right after they get out the fryer. Okay, toss them a little bit more. All right guys, so I think our dishes are ready. The kitchen smells amazing. Guests are arriving and let's start plating up our food. All right guys, so we're back and I mean our guests are arriving. Food is smelling amazing. Oh, can you smell it? Come closer, a little bit closer. A little bit, yeah, yeah. It smells so good, it's so exciting. So our wings are done, our chili's done. I made some deviled eggs but we gotta get our cornbread mini chili sliders together, right? So our cornbreads came out the oven. How cute, how cute are these little mini cornbreads, right? So cute. All right, so we're just gonna do a little X in that middle, right? So everything can kind of sit down in there. Okay, look at that. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and add in our chili. Oh, God, the chili smells so freaking good. I'm making a little mess, just a tad bit. Don't worry, we'll clean it up later. Right. And you can make a little pocket, but I just did a little X, but it's always good to make a little pocket in there. I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese. Okay. And I mean, what is chili? without sour cream. You can put extra on mine. Sour cream. You can also do this with the pipe bag, but I mean, these are for the guys. They don't want the fancy stuff. They just want the food. All right. All right, and we're just gonna garnish it with a little green onion, okay? Bon Appetit. All right, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe. I can't wait to see what you want more of. Be interactive, let me know what it is that you want. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the dishes that we did today. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.